Hello, I'm Pat, a museum guide at the Dayton Art Institute. In this talk, we are going to experience a work by artist Christopher Reese called Celebration. Before we get started, please take a moment to pause the video and take a good look at the sculpture. When you think about glass sculpture, is this piece what you usually think of? Or perhaps you see works by Dale Chihuly, colorful and exuberant, or by Lina Talia Pietra or Dante Marioni, composed and serene. What is so different about Reese's work? Pause and look again. Did you notice the solidity of the work, the absence of any color, or the image within the object? Celebration is made of the world's highest quality lead crystal, highly reflective and refractive. Reflection is when light hits a surface and bounces back without being absorbed. Think of looking at yourself in a mirror. Refraction is when light hits a surface and bends as it passes from one medium to another. Have you ever noticed that a straw in a clear glass of liquid looks bent? In celebration, light bends when it passes from the air into the glass and then is reflected internally in multiple ways, producing the inner beauty of the artwork. Looking more closely now, we notice that the glass has been cut, ground, and polished. It was carved from a block of glass, producing faces or sides, and then ground to appear satin-like or polished, being highly reflective. It has been noted that Reese works like a traditional marble sculptor. He starts with a block of glass and with glass cutting saws, removes material to achieve its final shape. He then grinds and polishes the surfaces, revealing a finished form with internal beauty created by the passage of light. Returning to celebration, let's focus on what we see inside from different sides. Notice the different views based on where the light enters and then is reflected internally. The internal images we see are composed by the movement of light throughout, created by the external form, the angles, shapes, and finishes of the faces. Although we can define Reese's work within a frame of physics, it is the sheer beauty and sublime use of this material that create pure magic. I will leave you a quote by Reese reflecting on his work. I have chosen a pure material and a pure form. Reese says. It is analogous to singing a cappella. Few singers have such a pure voice that they can rivet you in time and space. But it can be an even more powerful experience than singing with accompaniment and embellishment. Thank you for watching Object of the Month, and be sure to visit the Dayton Art Institute to see Celebration and other glass works in Gallery 123, the Eileen Dickey Gallery of Glass.